Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again on another YouTube video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and put more content on the channel. I know you guys are excited because, you know, I keep it short, straight, simple to the point. But this video is basically how to. <clears throat> I know a lot of people want to know how to do the, the all over t shirts and all that. Um, this is just to kind of simply show you how to do that. So, what I did. Um, Base first and foremost, I'm gonna have YouTube tutorials. Okay, if you don't know how to do this in Photoshop, um, join my classes. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below when I get started. But I'm gonna I'm give you guys an alert when I get started with the classes because I got like 10 topics in my beginners course. The beginner course is gonna be like $25, so you know, everybody got a dub and a five. So we should be good to go. All right, so check this out. All right, so this is my image, this is the image here, right. Cause I'm, you know, I told y'all guys I'm making rugs. So basically what I did, uh, I put my image, this canvas is 13 by 19 image adjustments, black and white. All right, black and white. Boom, 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 boom. Da -da -da -da. So it led me to that, right? So it led me to that, black and white. All right, so I drug these things out to the middle. Let's see, I'm gonna just show you how to get these things. I'm gonna redo it. All right, so you just basically go to the ruler if you don't have the ruler, click on Control R or Command R. If you have the Mac, Control R brings it up. Drag it to the middle till it clicks, click. Like it almost snaps into place. All right, then drag that down there, click. And it gives you the dimensions. So this is 13 by 19, so it's gonna be nine and a half. 9.5 plus 9.5 is 19. So then basically what you do is this. All right, so you just go to here, click on that box, rectangular marquee to click and drag it. It's gonna automatically snap to the origins, then hit Control J, Control J, bam, okay? And then basically what it's gonna do, make sure you select it, you know what I'm saying? You select it onto that, um, onto this layer. So Command J is gonna make a new layer, but you yeah, do that for everything else. So just drag a box until you have all of your layers. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we're only gonna print one layer at a time, right? So click, bam. So bam, bada, 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 bam. All right, so that J is up and we're gonna click print. And I'm clicking and print to my HP Envy. Uh, you, can, you can drag it. Because the goal of this, we just want to get it printed and then we're going to piece it together. This is like if you have an eight and a half by 11 printer, I don't want to use my um, my Canon because, you know, it takes forever to print. It's, it's, it's not for stuff like this. It's, it's for stuff like this, but it takes a little longer. The little basic uh, pigment, the basic dye base ink printers can print it out real fast. It's about office junks. So we're going to print that. All right. HP MB is going there. I think it was like $100. So we're gonna do that. Clank, 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 clank. All right. And then we're gonna cut that layer. We're gonna print the next one. That's gonna be his head. So file print. All right, coolio, coolio. Drag that joint like that. And then you see it's eight and a half by 11. If it's not, you gotta go to your print settings and click letter eight and a half by 11. Click the print to print. Okay. Bang, bang. Print that jump, all right. Black and white, bam, right there. Print, shrink. All right, click on that. Get your third jump. File, print. Clickety, 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 clank, clank. All right, and then you just drag it, drag it, drag it. Click the print button. You know what I'm saying? So, print, bam, right there. Print, there you go. And the same thing works for like, you know, sublimation. I'm, I might sub it, I might, this is just for inkjet printers, but you can sublimate it as well and use the same type of thing. Just um, let's say you just measure your t-shirt out. You make your canvas in Photoshop the size of that and drag your artwork and just section it off. You know what I'm saying? Just section it off, just like I showed you. And um, so this is the last one we're gonna do. I'm gonna file, click print. We're right under the five minute mark. I'm keeping these videos straight forward and quick and simple. All right, so this is simple right here. Very simple, right? Then we're gonna click print because simplicity is key is the key. Click print, bam, bam. All right, there we go. Print. <clears throat> Bruh. Right. I got some shit in my throat. 
proceed. All right, and I'm going to be back when I show you the end result. Right. So yes, we are back again. So you see how big that turned out? You know what I'm saying? That turned out really, really, really big. Um, excuse my little ashtray. I made this the other day. Um, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. The ashtray drum made out of epoxy resin. So basically, um, yeah. So this is how it turned out. I just gotta trim the edges and stuff. And then, um, you know, put a little tape, put a little tapey tape on the jump. But yeah, you can essentially do this for all of your, um, all of your campuses. Let's say if your printer doesn't print, um, you know, 13 by 19, or it doesn't print 20 inches or something like that. You can do this and make the shirts bigger. You know what I'm saying? You can do this and make the shirts bigger and, uh, make your printouts a lot larger. Like this printer right here only prints eight and a half by 11, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm printing 13 by 19 by just doing a simple method. If you got some um, helpful information out this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe for some more. Peace.